Hello world, this is an angle cooler slash freezer. It's approximately 25 inches by 15 inches. Built into the lid, you've got a handle on this side, you have a handle on this side. If you add these side handles, those work great as well. They screw in here and here. There's another one here, another one back there. Uh, they'll carry the weight as well, but you don't have to have them. They'll come in the box. These handles add an extra 2.5 inches. This is 2.5 inches on this side and 2.5 inches on this side. If you wanna power the unit, here's your knob. There's no temp control where you actually see numbers, but uh, the knob I have to say works really well. You just turn it and you'll get used to you know, get used to what you want over time. There's a little indicator light here as well. Uh, looking at the outside, you've got four rubber feet. They have one screw that goes in on the bottom. They do a good job of keeping the cooler in place. And then for powering, you have a 10 amp fuse and there's two ports there. One is for the 12 volt, one is for the 110. All right, I'd say overall it works pretty well. It hinges this way. And when you open it, you get a little shelf. This is the 110 powers cord that comes with it. I happen to live in North America. I'm in California. This is what we would call an OSHA cord. It's the kind of cord you'd see on a desktop computer. Um, the cord for the 12 volt, this is 10 feet long. I've never undone this, but it looks to be about six feet long. The cooler itself, yeah, does a good job. I'd say it does, the, does what I expect it to do. It's got a little built-in basket. That's nice. Has a little string up here to keep the lid from going the uh, opposite direction. Uh, let me just tell you about the things that I do not like about this cooler. On the lid, let's say you set it down, you either sit on it or you're just using it in normal function. They have this nice gasket that goes around. That's cool. But they give you a little rubber foot, a little rubber foot on one side, but nothing on this side. It doesn't make sense. The lid's the same height. The lid has the same gasket. Everything about it is the same. So not having the feet makes this lid crooked. And I'll show you, for example, when you bring it down, here's the lid on this side is lower than this side. There's a bigger gap here on the lid. I don't understand why, but it annoys me. Uh, these latches, they're just plastic. So here you are with this nice metal hook, this nice metal hook, but yet the hinge and the clamp is just plastic. So I'm waiting for that to break. That's cheap. And then if we reopen it, another thing that annoys me is inside where you have the feet, they're missing here. Well, what also is missing is you get a stainless screw here and a non-stainless screw here. And this screw lives inside the cooler. So with that screw in the cooler, it's already rusted over. It's very annoying and frustrating. Let's look at the basket while we're inside. Here's a standard bottle of water. Here's a dimension for you. And then on this side, you can see it's a little longer. Again, the cooler does its job. It works. I'm very pleased with that. It just feels cheap. Cheap from the little sticker on the outside to the missing feet to the rusted screw. I wouldn't buy it again, but then again, this is the first cooler I've ever owned that is run off of 12 volt and 110. Hope you have a great day. That's my review. Any further questions, comments, snide remarks, drop them in the comments.